Hi everyone, in today's video I want to show you how I crochet a circle for my items. It's very simple and easy to implement. If you are interested in it, please stay with me and watch this video till the end. When I am crocheting a novel and circle, I make increases in similar way in both cases. There is a video about oval on the channel, I will leave a link to this video in the description and in the tips. So, let's begin crocheting the circle. I will work with single crochet in V shape and we begin the crocheting with magic ring. For making magic ring, I need to wrap the yarn around left hand fingers one time like this. So here are my tails of the yarn, I am holding it with my thumb. Then I cross over the working yarn around my palm like this. And the working yarn I will hold by my little finger. Now I have two parallel lines on my palm. And now I am taking my hook and I am going to insert the hook under the first one. Then pick up the second one and then pull through the first one. Now. Twist the hook around like this and now we have a stitch on the hook. Only then pick up the working yarn and pull through the loop on the hook. So, it's full completed look. Our magic ring is ready. Now we need to make 6 single crochet into the magic ring. To do this I am inserting my hook in the hole, yarn over, pull it through the hole like this. Then yarn over again and pull through both loops. The first one is ready. Continue making remaining single crochets like this. It was our first row and do not make it tightly. Here 6 stitches and now I need to close the ring for starting crocheting the circle. To do this I need to tighten up the end like this. I am not tightening up the end too hard at this moment and then we can crochet the second row easy. Now we need to close the first row, so let's make an individual connection. To do this I am inserting my hook from wrong side into the first horizontal stitch pick up this stitch and pull out to wrong side and leave it Let me show you where I will insert the hook. Look here, in the middle of stitches. I am inserting my hook from right side in the middle of the single crochet, which coming after the connection. And the hook 
going out between posts of stitch on wrong side like this. Then throw on this stitch on the hook and tighten up the working yarn a bit for reducing the stitch. Then pick up the working yarn and draw out it to right side like this. Then yarn over again and pull through the loop. Done! This stitch will be counted as the first stitch of the new row. In the second row, I'll make two single crochet in every single crochet from the first row by pattern of circle and after finishing the row, the amount of stitches will be 12. And insert the hook in the middle of the stitch, it means single crochet in V shape and uh, make sure that the hook comes out between posts of stitch on wrong side like this. So let's continue crocheting. So the first one, and the second one into the same loop. It's our first increase. So continue making two single crochet in one all around the way. At this moment you can tighten up the end harder and correct stitches by hand. Twelve stitch I'm making in the turning chain. So the second row is completed so you can make the connection of the row. Now we start the third row and in the third row we'll make increases through stitch, which means we'll make two single crochet in one 
then goes one single crochet, then again two single crochet, after one single crochet. And we need to repeat this pattern all the way around. So let's start. Here my turning chain, after this I'll make the increase. Two single crochet into the stitch. Then make one single crochet into the next stitch. Then alternate this order, which means one increase, then one single stitch. We need to make six increases in each row according to the scheme of the circle. The second row I am finishing by crocheting the increase into the last stitch. In total we have 18 stitches in the third row. In the first row, we'll have two single stitches between increases and we'll crochet single stitches into the increase from the third row and into the single stitches I'll make the increase. After turning chain, the next stitch is the second stitch of increase, so that crochet single stitch into the next stitch too. Then into the next single stitch, make the increase. I am finishing this row by making the increase into the last stitch, then make the connection. Further, from the fifth row everything is so simple. As I said earlier, I use this method for the circle and oval. The point is that from the fifth row I'll make the increase into the stitch, which is located before the increase of the previous row. And I make each increase in every row by this way. This is very simple way and we get the ideal form in both cases in the end. Look, there is increase from the previous row after turning chain. Because I make the increase before the increase from the previous row, I'll make one more single crochet into the turning chain. Then go 3 single stitch before the next increase. And this is the stitch before the increase from previous row. So place two single crochet in this stitch. Then 
Continue crocheting like this all following rows. Also, amount of single stitches between increases will enlarge by one in every row. For example, if in the fifth row there were three single stitches between increases, then in the sixth row the number of single stitches is already four stitches. In the seventh row there are five stitches and etc. So continue crocheting in this way until you get a circle of the desired diameter. If you have any questions, write in the comments, I will definitely answer. If this video was useful for you, press the like button. Please support me by subscribing to my channel and if it's possible, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you soon.